How to be more Asian. How many of you need to be more Asian? I don't need to be more Asian. I think I'm more Jewish than I am Asian. Hi, it's Hongyi from iloveinteraciallove.com. True story. I was talking to a young guy who happens to be half Chinese and half Jewish who was dating a Korean girl. Do you think her parents will like you, I asked. He shook his head and said, I don't really think so. Um, this is a very touchy subject, but no, I don't think so. I'm not Asian enough for her. What? You're not Asian enough for her? If I am doing the math correctly, shouldn't you, or at least half of you, be Asian enough, or do they not accept hybrids? Not Asian enough? What about being not good enough, decent enough, nice enough? Don't those count? As I've said before, bringing home the white boy, in this case, the half-white boy, to meet mom and dad in an interracial relationship is the occasion that causes the most fear, frustration, and emotional pain for couples. Who wants the risk of being rejected or hurt or insulted or forced to sneak around? You're not Asian enough for her parents? I have two words for you. Police. If this is something you are worried about, you will want to watch this video. Now let's take a closer look at exactly what is being said and what is actually being communicated. There is no such thing as being Asian enough, white enough, black enough, or anything enough for anyone's approval. That is simply code for, I don't want to deal with the one that you are with. These parents, like many parents, with a similar reaction to someone from a different race or culture that their daughter or son brings home, are afraid. Yes, let me say that again, they are afraid. They are afraid of losing control, of change beyond their control, and that they are closing their minds to what they may gain. So they react by putting up an illogical reason for the rejection of your relationship as an obstacle. Fear is the great mind killer. So this is what you do. Number one, accept the fear for what it is. It is their way of saying, I don't want to be uncomfortable with somebody different. Two, reject the logic. This is not a rational reason to accept or reject anyone. Three, remain calm and good to each other. Do not attempt to overcome this ridiculous obstacle. It is not real. Focus your energies on your relationship and being people loving and respecting of each other. Four, wait for your moment. Your guess who's coming to dinner moment may have to wait for some time in the future. Be sure to surround yourselves with friends and supporters who will be in your corner. Five, create a picture of happiness. Believe it or not, your family wants you to be happy. Most impressive and meaningful of all is for you both to show them what makes you blissfully happy with each other, which is what they really want. Over time, they will value what he means to you and what can you say about two people who are clearly happily in love with each other. Do these five things with an open and giving heart and your parents will gain the confidence and let go of their fears. They will gradually accept your choice and be very happy for you. Do not let this negativity distract you from being who you really are and you will attract the gift that you were intended to receive from the universe. Stay as fabulous as you are for the one in your life who loves you just the way you are. Our love can change the world one interracial relationship at a time. So share it, like it, join the mix, Go ahead, pop your name and email in the box below and get all of this really free cool stuff I have waiting for you and all my subscribers at iloveinteracialove.com. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next.